Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1993. Ricky Steamboat pins NWA and WCW World Television Champion Paul Orndorff by reversing a body slam into a cradle to win the titles. Number 4, 1970. Matthew Heisen is born. Better known by his ring name Spike Dudley, he is a multi-time tag team champion in both ECW and the WWE. Number 3, 1949. Jim Brunzel is born. Best known for his successful tag teams with Brian Blair and Greg Gagne over his 21-year career. Number 2. 2018. Jim the Anvil Neidhart passes away. Best known for his appearances in the WWF in the 80s and 90s, he is a two-time WWF tag team champion with his real-life brother-in-law, Brett the Hitman Hart in the Hart Foundation. He also won titles in Stampede Wrestling, Championship Wrestling from Florida, Mid-South Wrestling, Memphis Championship Wrestling, and Mid-Eastern Wrestling Federation. Number 1, 1962. During a title defense against Boba Brazil in New Jersey, NWA World Heavyweight Champion Buddy Rogers claimed he had a groin injury. The match was stopped and Brazil was declared the winner, but he refused to accept the victory. It was announced on September 6th that Boba Brazil was the new NWA World Heavyweight Champion after a doctor found nothing wrong with Rogers. Rogers won the title back from Brazil on October 30th in Toledo, Ohio but the title change was not recognized by the NWA. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.